In this video I'm going to talk about the MailChimp uh, functionality from our uh, options. Now uh, as you noticed any subscription or uh, newsletter uh, form uh, is based on uh, MailChimp and um, just to be uh, precise the functionality is uh, actually very very simple uh, there is um, nothing too advanced uh, and if you actually want something more customizable or advanced just go to the WordPress website and uh, search for a MailChimp plugin I think uh, actually MailChimp does have a supporting uh, a plugin uh, available an official one but if you want to uh, use uh, this functionality from uh, our team you can uh, uh, subscribe to uh, MailChimp and you can then uh, generate an API key and uh, paste it here save it and uh, things will start to get moving now if you want to uh, get an app, first you like I said you have to get an API key uh, I already included in our um, uh, documentation some uh, links where you can uh, find uh, the token and or the API key you can um, create forms and so on uh, basically uh, it's well, some sort of uh, communication between the team and the MailChimp uh, website where you can uh, by pasting this uh, by I don't know by adding this uh, key you can then uh, uh, use the forms you created so I'm going to for example go to widgets and as you can see in the footer row one widget two I'm going to refresh this page and I have this uh, form right here which is exactly this widget now you should have been able to select the list here for this API key I don't have a form created but you should be you should have them uh, listed here. If you do have problems, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to our uh, support forums and uh, uh, start a new uh, discussion there. Like I said, the functionality is a bit easy. You should not have any problems, but if you do, uh, don't hesitate to, to ask. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.